You know, I've heard a lot of people call the Ferrari 328 GTS an entry-level Ferrari. Would you agree with that or no? I would agree with that. You know, it's a great starter classic car, and especially a great starter Ferrari. It's not particularly valuable in this space, but it is a very simple car to maintain and own. They're great fun to drive. This is my first 328 that I've ever driven, actually, so I'm right in it with you, so to speak. You know, it's got 270 horsepower. Do you feel all of that? Because it is you know, small body style here. Yeah, there's not much weight to this car. And you know, it's a very small footprint, so it does get up and go. You know, I tested it a little bit earlier and it runs and drives beautifully. You know, it picks up. Uh, we're coming into the reds and you know, it does like to take off. You know, it's only got 10,000 original miles on it and it looks really clean on the inside. Yeah, a uh, very low mileage car that we're sitting in today. You know, it's beautifully preserved. Uh, it's always been maintained. Uh, it recently had its major service done. So, you know, this is coming from a really good home that really looked after it. I don't know if you noticed that it has a Blaupunkt stereo system. Is that come stock with this car? Yeah, it comes stock with this car. Blaupunkt was one of the largest manufacturers of radios back in the 70s and 80s, and they were very prevalent throughout Ferrari and Mercedes and other brands. You're, you must be what, 6'4", six, 6'5"? Six, I'm about 6'4", yeah. All right, so your head is sticking out of the roof of this car. It movement. is sticking out, yeah. If the roof was on, would you be able to drive this car? I'm Not comfortably. Uh, I could get through it. Um, you know, I'm very fortunate where I get to drive a lot of cars. Um, I don't fit in most of them. A lot of these cars, especially Ferraris, they do seem to fit a smaller body frame. Exactly. You know, in the office we have a joke that the uh, Italian engineers have absolutely no idea what they're doing. Most of the time the, the pedal box is quite difficult. You know, I have size 12 feet and it's almost impossible for me to get on the gas and brake independent of each other. They're really made for a, a small, you know, almost race car. You know, it's a very focused design and they're thinking about their Formula One drivers and I'm not that body type. And you know, the engine, it's a very high pitch noise. It's not like a deep rumbling. You can really feel it high up in the back of the car. Exactly, and you know, this is a mid-engine car, so you really hear that note, especially with the open top here. It does like to rev, you know. It does scream a little bit. This is a pretty small displacement car, so it does rev pretty quickly. Uh, you know, 3.2 liter V8, uh, not particularly big, not what Ferrari is famous for, but it gets the job done. You know, this car is known as entry-level Ferrari, but with 270 horsepower, it's so small, so compact, and with the top off, it definitely doesn't feel like that. And I really do feel like an experienced car collector is going to grab this up because it's just a fun car. Maybe you don't want to drive a multi-million dollar car all the time. This right here, fun car. I had a great time.